Good afternoon everyone, Eric Morrow here to report the area news for WJSQ WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donny Gaddis agency. Well, former Tennessee quarterback Quentin Dormney has transferred to Houston where he will begin to be able to play eligible for this season of football. Dormney played in 16 games and made five starts in three seasons with the Volunteers. He began last season as Tennessee's starting quarterback before a shoulder injury and surgery cut short his season. He passed for 925 yards and six touchdowns in 2017. Dormady, who is from Bourne, Texas, just outside of San Antonio, joins a team that seems to have a starter in junior Derek King, but no experienced depth. Authorities are searching for a 15-year-old boy who disappeared while swimming in, Tennessee, in a Tennessee lake. A search and rescue team with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is helping authorities in the Memphis suburb of Collarville look for the boy who was, where, who was boating in the lake with his friends Monday night. In a statement, the Sheriff's Office said some of the boys jumped out of the boat to swim to shore when the 15-year-old went under. The Sheriff's Office says the recovery, eff recovery effort will continue until the boy is found. U.S. Representative Steve Cohen is praising the U.S. Department of Transportation's decision to give a $71 million grant to Memphis, Tennessee to repair its important commercial roads. Cohen said the infrastructure for Rebuilding America grant will go toward improvements to the Lamar Avenue Intermodal Freight Corridor. Lamar Avenue cuts through Memphis as it connects highways, airports, maritime ports, and rails. Officials say the highway, which runs into U.S. 78 into Memphis, and Interstate 55 into Arkansas connect businesses to national and global supply chains. It's heavily used by trucks and is showing wear and damage including large potholes. In a statement, Cohen said the improvements will lead to economic development and additional jobs in the area. Well, Here's some community announcements. The UT extension of McMinn County will hold a free living well workshop each Tuesday for six weeks starting June 5th. The workshop meets from 1 to 3 p.m. and participants should register by calling 745-2852. The City of Athens Public Works Department announces another street closure. The area to be affected is East Madison Avenue from Gully Street to Mayfield Lane. This closure will be in effect from Wednesday, June 6, 2018 at 7.30 a.m. until Friday, July 6, 2018 at 5.30 p.m. The closure will be intermittent throughout the scheduled time period. Motors should use extreme caution and watch for traffic signage, workers, and pedestrians, and expect traffic delays in the area when traveling. The purpose of the closure is to move equipment and install an additional building entrance. You can hear the local, regional, and state news on WJSQ FM 101.7 FM Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. You can also catch the WJSQ WLAR news here on the WJSQ WLAR Facebook page Monday through Friday every evening with today's top stories. If you see news happening or just want to let us know about a community event, you can reach us at the following email address. That's news, N-E-W-S, at WJSQ WLAR.com. This is Eric Morrow reporting. You all have a great evening.